Hi, my name is Johanna Persky. I'm the Community Relations Manager for Orsted based out of the Atlantic City office. And thank you for the opportunity today to talk to you about Ocean Winds, New Jersey's first offshore wind farm. First, a little bit about Orsted. Orsted is a global leader in offshore winds. We're a Danish company with 26 wind farms in operation, and we have one operational wind farm off of Block Island in the United States. Here you can see all of the wind farms we're planning for the East Coast. These are our lease areas that have been given awards by individual states to supply energy into the grid, and we're in the process of securing federal permits, which brings us to the question of why. Why offshore winds in the Northeast? Well, the Northeast is a, in a great position due to its huge energy demands combined with its natural resource of offshore winds. You can see in the image in the middle the average wind speeds off of our coast. That, combined with the relatively shallow continental shelf, makes it, the great, makes it in a great position for offshore winds. I mentioned Black Island. This is our first uh, wind farm in the United States, and it's five turbines that service the island. It's a beautiful uh, location. You can tour the wind farm. If you haven't been up there to see it, I suggest you do it. It's a great trip. Now on to ocean wind, which we like to consider New Jersey's crown jewel of offshore wind. This will be the first offshore wind project off of our coast and the largest in the country, with 1,100 megawatts which is enough to power almost 500,000 homes. Here's a general timeline that we're looking at. We're currently in the process of securing our federal permits, and we expect the wind farm to be operational at the end of 2024, beginning of 25, if everything goes according to schedule. This map shows our lease area outlined in blue, and in gray, you can see our proposed cable route options. Our cables will be buried similar to existing utilities in the roadways, and we'll be plugging into two of three potential sites at Oyster Creek, BL England, or Higby Station in Atlantic City. We're committed to our stakeholders. We've been doing stakeholder outreach since we received our award, and we're really grateful for all of the local excitement and support it's not often that South Jersey can be a national leader, and we know that this project is something that will make us all very proud. We're committed to open dialogue in the fishing community, and we have both the commercial and recreational fishing representatives that are continuously giving project updates and assuring fishermen that they will be able to fish in and around the wind farm. We understand that this is something that's new and change can make people nervous, which is why we continuously do this outreach. We're committed to the commercial and recreational fishermen's input, and we are looking forward to working collaboratively with them in the future. We're committed to engaging not just with fishermen, but in our local communities, with NGOs, um, we're very grateful to have the support of the New Jersey Audubon Society, and in addition to the local sponsorships that we um, are continuously doing, we also have signed an MOU with Stockton as well as other state universities to further research um, in offshore winds. Orsted's uh, priority is creating a world that runs entirely on green energy. And here you can see our commitment to running um, a business in not only a new industry, but an industry that will benefit each and every one of us. Thank you so much. Um, here's my contact information. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Um, and I look forward to working with you guys all in the future.